So let's take a look at uh, another common system that we use. So there are other common bases, other common bases. So one of the more common systems that we use in, in computers is the hexadecimal number system. As the word, word connotes, we have a hexadecimal, which is a six and a 10, which is a six base 16 number system. Again, the base is 16 and our valid coefficients, so valid coefficients are 0, 1, 2, up to 9, and the next value is 10. But to make sure that we don't confuse a 10, which is a, a decimal number 10, with a hexadecimal entity, we represent 10 by A, 11 by B, C, D, E, and F. So A is a 10 and F is a 15. So for example, we might write a number, some number in hexadecimal, which is let's say a five digit hexadecimal number like this. And sometimes because we are uh, we, we may not have the luxury of representing subscript on a machine. We use a more convenient alternative, which is we represent hexadecimal numbers by prefixing the number with a 0x and h, 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 h. So this is a, a five digit hexadecimal number. So let's take a simple example. So for example, if I have the number 0x, 2a, 9f, and I'm told that it represents a number, which is again equivalent to writing 2a, 9f to the base 16. So from here onwards, this is the preferred, preferred representation. So we, we notice that this again represents the coefficients 2, A, 9, and F, but remember that 9, A is a 10, and F is a 15. So this represents 15, and again my place value is 16 to the 0, 9 times 16 to the 1, 10 times 16 to the 2, and 2 times 16 to the 3. So this number represents, this is 8192 plus, that's 256 times 10, 2560 plus, that's uh, 144, 9 times 16, and that's uh, 15 times 1. So this represents the number 10911 to the base 10. So we also, when we talk about hexadecimal, we sometimes simply refer to it as hex. So when, when people talk about hex numbers, they're really talking about numbers that, that are represented using the hexadecimal notation. So hex is not just used for representing numbers, we can also use the hex notation also used for addresses, so when we say that the address of a, of a particular item is such and such, we represent the address as hex. So here's an example of a address in hex that we will look at on the ARM processor that we're gonna be using. So where, for example, when I say the address is 001A, I'm saying that this is a address and as we will see, this represents one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, digits of hex. They can also be represent, used to represent contents of registers or memory. Now we will look at what registers are and memory, uh, memory is in, 
at a later time. But for example, I can say the content of memory of a memory location is 0x a 0. Or I can say the content of register, let's say register R0, I can represent the content of register R0 as containing the value 0x FFF F one zero one one. So one of the convenient things about representing hex is that, as I said, it it alleviates the burden of having to represent binary numbers in their entirety. In fact, this number, which is one zero one zero nine one one, if we were to express it in base two, it would look like this. It will look like one 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 one. Remember all the digits are are binary. One zero zero one one zero one zero 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 one zero. Now I didn't I didn't actually work this out in my head. There's a convenient way of figuring this out. And that is that when I look at the hexadecimal, because these two are in the same base, the F is a 15, which in binary is 1111. A 9 is a, a 9 is a, is a 1001. A, a is a, one zero one zero and a two is a zero zero one zero so this is a simple way of converting between forms now notice that it's much simpler to write it as 2af 9 9f than to write this in its entirety in binary so hex is a is a very convenient notation which will be used throughout throughout this course